another video here on the lovely channel of TK's Garage. <laughs> I'm just trolling this morning. So you guys know we've had a lot of issues with the active fuel management. I've been trying to disable this without buying the in range, which everybody tells me it works. Um, I've purchased this $800 installed, uh, what is this? The Edge product CS2 Evolution. Um, it was a waste of money. It's basically a glorified monitor. Now, I guess it does do some flashes to the computer, but it does not disable active fuel management. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it for free. Now, I've seen, yes, I know, before you jump into comments, I've seen that there's other videos that are out there about this subject specifically, but it's not updated, and the quality is... Uh, no disrespect, hot garbage. So let's go ahead and get directly into it and uh, show you exactly what I'm talking about. In most vehicles, and this is gonna work for all GM vehicles, Silverados, Tahoes, things of that nature, from 2007 to 2020 that have active fuel management. Do you see that right there? See that little V4 symbol right there? Um, well, let me get it closer in here so you can see it. That, that is a pain in the ass. We don't like to see that. Um, one of the most expensive repairs you'd ever do on your Tahoe, Silverado, Sierra, Yukon is having to fix one of those damn lifters that the little hydraulic system gets stuck and it gets stuck down and then you're just, you know, consuming oil, you're down a cylinder, it's running like crap, it's expensive. Well, what I'm going to show you guys today is a very simple solution to keep yourself in V8 mode all the time when you're in city driving. And as long as you're over 75, if you're at 75 or over in cruise control, it will not kick in. I know someone's going to say, yes, it will. Yeah, if you're in California or Colorado or someplace and you're coming down a mountain um, at a gradual grade, it would, I, don't, I couldn't tell you the exact percent grade, but yeah, it could kick in in cruise control at high speeds too. But it's very, very, very rare. That said... You know, other vehicles that had the 5.3 V8, like the Envoy XUV, uh, some of the older Tahoes that had the 4L60 had a four-speed transmission in it, and they got pretty decent gas mileage. <clears throat> what I'm going to show you is how to run yours as a five-speed. So the trick here is actually very simple. On GMC vehicles, I think it has an M instead of an L. And you can see here I have an L, so it's kind of like locking mode or manual mode, depending on the type that you have. So you basically shift down a gear you can see now we're in four but we go to five and you're going to leave it there now here's what happens when you put it into five and news flash before somebody says it doesn't work it's actually in the owner's manual uh for like if you're towing or you're pulling around town and you don't want to put stress on the active fuel management you can literally just shift it down to l or m put it in five and you'll go one through five all the way through the gears in automatic and you don't have to worry about V4 coming in. Now you'll see here, usually you see, you can see my oil pressure's up, everything's good. You can see when I get off the gas, like I'm gonna get off the gas now, all right? Now let me get off, wait, let me get this thing stable. Sorry guys. All right, now watch, I'm gonna get off the gas. It's downshifting. And look at that. There's no V4 mode enabled at all. Now this is free. This didn't require a tune. <clears throat> this didn't require anything. And I know someone's gonna say, well, when you get to really low speeds, it's still gonna cut on. Well, when we get here in a second, down to really low speeds, I'll stop, I'll, I'll fire the camera back up so I can show you, not true. Now running it here for about the last mile, um, you can see, I just went ahead and reset my clock so you can see, reset my uh, mileage so you can see it for yourself, what I'm averaging. Uh, on mileage and it's actually not bad I'm at 25.5 miles per gallon I'll, I'll get down to average usage of about 21 miles per gallon 20 miles per gallon uh, driving the truck in this mode and going to six on the highway I average uh, I, so with active fuel management I was averaging 20.5 with no active fuel management I was averaging 20.1 uh, and other driving, it's like about a half, a, it's about a half a mile per gallon. So that means basically over a tank, it's about a 12 mile difference or 15 mile difference over a tank of gas. 
Is that worth active fuel management? Hell no. Anyways, you can see here it's working fine, just like a champ. Now I see we got a red light coming up here in about half a mile. So I'll let you guys see this as I coast down to speed. But you can see here I'm going 60. I'm not even at 2,000 RPMs, and I'm still getting really good gas mileage. I mean, and I'm in L5, all right? Now, if I go to six, this is where you see manual come in, watch. See it? You see how it came on? Now, the minute I go back to five, it will it's gone. You will not see it. Like I said, that is a very quick method, a very easy tip. Um, this is just a bonus video. I'll probably drop this after one of the other videos during the week. But these are the kind of videos, these little stupid little how-to videos that, you know, grow and help people over time that may have been... Look, I feel so stupid for not reading my owner's manual after having this truck for several months, you know, and not just looking to see if there was something in the owner's manual about not using active fuel management and the fact that this was there what well, just said like in town towing if you go to into l mode into l5 or l4 for a uh, heavier pulling it doesn't enable now you can see here traffic is about to stop i'm coasting down and look i'll let it coast i'm gonna let it coast down a uh, white green i'm still gonna let it coast down so you can see no matter where it gets to no matter where it gets to, on the on the money here, look at that. None. No V4 mode. So there is a very simple fix for you if you can't afford to buy an end range or, or, or if you want to waste your money on one of these Edge products, don't do it. This is basically a glorified monitor, to monitor for me so I can get an, ac uh, an accurate voltage meeting on the truck, reading on the truck. You see I'm at 14 and a half volts. Uh, and it also lets me pull codes and stuff. That's basically all that is at this point. And the occasional time I want to flash a, a 91 octane tune or something to it if I want to do something crazy. But I'm not really doing that. But anyways, there you have it. You can see here in the last four miles, just driving around at speed at 60 miles an hour, um, averaging about 20 to 22 miles per gallon. Um, I'm staying in V8 mode all of the time. And no active fuel management. Yay! Anyways, if this video helped you, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. If you like what I do or you want to see more videos on rebuilds, copart, IAA, things of that nature, auctions in general, uh, consider subscribing and click that bell so you don't miss notifications for videos even like this one. Man, several months later and we finally solved the case. Damn. All right, catch you guys on the next one.